I didn't see you there. Now you're wondering, what the heck am I wearing? Well, this is a Rama One Half cosplay. It's the cosplay of the character Rama Satomi. Oh, thank you. This is Rama, but this is his female form. Yeah, I know it's crazy. If you don't know Rama, well, actually, this is Rama Satomi's original form. See this guy, the panda. This is Rama male, and this is Rama female. And this is the Kali Tendo. Yeah, next to Rama Satoshi. These characters are the main characters of the series. And yeah, don't question me about this guy. Yeah, this guy is crazy. Anyway. is the main protagonist and titled character of Rama One Half. Ranma, a 16-year-old teenager who is the only son of both Nadoka and Ginma Salchome. In the beginning of the anime, you can see a female Ranma and a panda. I'm going to explain why he turned into a girl and who is that panda. He and his father went to a training ground in China named Josinkyo. It's known as the land of the Cursed Springs. Not knowing this, and not having patience to listen to a warning from the local guide, Genma attempted to train with Ranma atop the bamboo pools which jutted up out of the pools. When Ranma knocked Genma into Shamo Nichuan, spring of drowned panda, he was surprised to watch a panda emerge from the pound and leap into one of the pools. Ginma now cursed, was able to hit Ranma into Naya Michuan, the spring of drowned girl. Thus, he turns into a female version of his original form when he's splashed with cold water, which is only temporarily reversible through contact with hot water. Before this incident, Ginma had made an arrangement with his best friend son Tendo that Ranma would marry one of his daughters and carry on the Tendo Dojo after learning of Ranma's condition. Son's daughters, Kasumi and Nobiki, began to insist that Ranma choose their young sister Akane, or should I say Akane, and rationalize that a tomboy will be a more appropriate fiancé for a man who transforms into a woman. In the later seasons, he encounters some friends and enemies. All in all, I don't want to spoil anything, you just need to watch the anime by yourselves. Now, let's start the game plan off Rama One Hand. We're gonna start the Ramathon. Yeah, the Ramathon. It's gonna begin right now. First things first, let's talk about the title screen. So, as you can see, there are a couple of options here. Are nothing new or interesting here except for the organization of the choices. The middle one leads to single player mode, the last one leads to option settings, and the first one is multiplayer mode. They are hard to deal with at first, but you'll get used to it. Anyways, let's move on to the game itself. First thing to see here is the character selection screen. You can play it as the two forms of Ranma in any stage. You will be given a chance to choose before each battle. There are 8 stages to go through plus 2 bonus stages, like Street Fighter 2's format. Anyway, let's talk about the controls now. By pressing X with Y, you can perform a jump, while B performs normal attacks. And finally, A performs special attacks 
like uh, the magical ring thing yeah I don't know what's that anyway you can also block by pressing L or R but there was a major complaint about the jumping system you cannot move over to the directional pad when jumping that problem led to a major complaint by the fans that played it back in the day in addition you can play as secret characters by pressing L and R together in the character selection screen or should I say the versus screen when the game was released in the United States and Europe the whole game was changed I mean literally everything starting from the title of the game to the story what pissed me off is that the characters were changed too I remember playing this version when I was a kid I used to like it because I thought it was original and I didn't know what Rama one half was at the time the game was changed to appeal to the American or should I say the Western gamers in general but most of them were mad about it when they realized that the original was better made all in all I give this game a 4 out of 5 for its decent graphics and beautiful music anyway let's head on to the next game